everybody. Wednesday night, and I hope everybody's having a great time at camp. I know that I am. I've got a little bit of a surprise for everyone, and I'm, I don't know if I'm willing to do the reveal just yet, but I want to tell you that I finally found the name of that watchtower, or that clock tower, or that tower, anyways, that is uh, that special place that people would climb up and then call others to prayer from. And uh, I find it very interesting that there's quite a bit of history behind the one that I am currently building. It is well, no, you know what? I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's called just yet. Um, so why don't you give me a few more minutes while I continue to work on my build? All right, it's kind of getting there. I am actually putting in a few details on the second one. My tower, which is within eyeball distance of where everyone else's towers are. And uh, I'm actually starting to feel pretty good about this build. I think it's going to be quite impressive. And yes, it's going to have a door or two or three. And yes, you're going to be able to climb up it. And yes, I wonder, oh, we should consider what those traditional words are that one needs to use to call others to the tower with. Ooh, okay, I'm getting there. And I think it's starting to take shape. Oh, yes, starting to look like something significant. I know I'm building this in creative, but I kind of don't have as much time as I'd like to these days or these evenings. But um, this particular tower, oh, let's see, is in fact called a minaret. And minarets are places that um, people would gather at five times a day. The minaret, or in Arabic, it means a beacon. Oh, you know what? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to put a beacon in here, don't I? Oh, yeah. A minaret, or beacon, is an element of uh, Islamic religious architecture. It's a tower that was traditionally used by a guy called uh, Muezzin, I believe, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. Muezzin. A uh, Muezzin is a crier, um, which is actually kind of, um, there were town criers, there were criers that would go to the center of, of or to the steps of a church, like a Christian church, and and let people know things, you know, in medieval times. So this isn't all that much different. In fact, I think this particular uh, minaret was built, oh no, it was built around the 700s, something like that, 700. That's a long time ago. So what would happen is this muezzin, or the crier, he would, he would uh, call people to prayer five times a day. And uh, these towers, or minarets, would have actually been connected to a mosque. Uh, but, oh, wait a second, is that our pink sheep? Did our pink sheep get out? No, 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 no. Oh, it's a pig. Okay, oh, phew. Our pink sheep is still here. I wonder, should we build? Hello. This is not really a very good place for our found pink sheep. We need to maybe build a really nice enclosure. Maybe we should make our minaret a place where we can keep our pink sheep. 
Possibly? What do you think? That might be a plan. All right, let me get back to work here. Okay, so I think I've kind of finished up my minaret. Sort of. And tomorrow morning, which is today, I'm going to complete it so that it includes the courtyard. And that's the place where uh, the men would be summoned to um, and would kneel to face Mecca and pray. Um, five times a day. I guess next thing I'd really love to know is what times a day were those and was that? And did they get a day off? I you know, wonder. So here we are. I am about to give everybody a tour of what we've accomplished. And I still can't get over how many animals we have here. It's kind of fun. Um, I'm at the very far end of our swamp and uh, there's two bunnies hanging out here and of course plenty of squid. It's really exceptional. So we started by building on our swamp some fairly simple houses and um, some of you were getting the right idea here when I would say build up on stilts, do something that um, kind of rese resembles what would actually have happened in real life, right? Um, so what would we have, if we had, and we're for, we're for, why is there science here? If we were forced to, really? Guys. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, if we were forced, to, whose house is this? Rowan. Oh. No, I like it. I like it. Look. Okay, it's cool. I can't see out of your window, Rowan. La 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 la. Okay. Um. So if we were forced to build something over a real life swamp, how would we do it? Yeah, we would pillar up. Exactly. Um, and that's exactly how Venice was built. Um, and in fact, uh, Venice was built uh, as kind of as a last resort. There were people from the mainland that were being attacked by the incoming, I believe it was the Ostrogoths and the Visigoths and whoever else was coming down at them. Um, and it was the people that lived in the area that decided they would vacate to the swampy lands and build there where they would be protected by surrounding waters. And that worked quite effectively for a while. So imagine actually if the mobs were turned on, it is a pretty, pretty safe spot. I would think, um, at least the mobs would kind of be slowed down by what we see here. The obstacle course that is the swamp. And then, uh, Here's another really, the elephant belt, what I like to call it, which is really cool. Um, you guys started to take the tower concept a little bit further. Oh, this is iron mining. Cool. And the chest that we saw, we visited yesterday. And, uh, oh, here's Eileen. I think she's AFK. She's been waiting for me to do start recording and I've been busy building so anyways are you there Eileen are you there are you there oh no she's not there unless she suddenly awakens um, by the way there is a timeout on the server if you happen to be hanging out and you're not doing anything you go AFK uh, for exactly 16.666 minutes uh you're kicked from the server and that's just done for uh for purposes to prevent people from uh hanging out and keeping their chunks loaded in their base so that they can keep uh, machinery going and uh, doing whatever it is that they're doing um okay so so oh look at this you can see my minaret from here Oh, I like it. Uh, I've done also a little bit of work here. I believe is was this was this uh, Callum and Harris's build? Yeah, I think it is. Um, so I've I've completed the this side of your uh, 
of your walkway. Um, I hope I did it right. I, I really hope I did it right. So, awesome tower. Look at this. It is stunning. Um, complete with banners now, and um, I really like how the whole thing comes together with the water streaming down. Um, from here, I shall fly to a far more elaborate tower that was then built by Brickmaster. I was this built by Brickmaster? Yes, yes, of course. So this was his starter tower. Um, so towers, again, throughout history, they were used for... What were you talking about yesterday? They were used for or built as watch towers, literally watch towers, to watch the surrounding lands for cows? No, not cows. <laughs> for invaders, of course, right? And then later on, watch towers were built as clock towers. Oh my, so many animals. And those clock towers were, ooh, do you see what I see? What's that? No, not you, bunny. Look at this. What's that? So, I see another beacon in the distance. Towers were built to tell time, to help everyone know what time it was, um, given that not everyone could afford a watch, for instance. Yeah. Shall we fly over to that build over there? I think we should. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Beautiful. Kind of using the same stepped features that I've used in my minaret. I believe this is Craft Creeper's build. Beautiful. He surrounded uh, a beacon. Oh, look at that. A beacon on top of his tower. That, this is, in fact, a minaret. Oh, you have, you have horses? Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, it's wonderful work. And an emerald in an item frame. Oh, look at that. Tower of Craft. Beautiful. I believe this stone here, this cobblestone, is just placed there so that he could finish his build. So unless it comes down, it's going to be quite lovely. I don't know that I should go inside. Pony, out of the way. Uh, somebody's wanting attention. Okay, well, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, sure, it's not, probably not finished yet. Great, this takes you straight up. Upstairs. Beautiful. Oh, say bye. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, it is a bit late. Um, it's actually 10 o'clock at night. Um, and, wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, let's just do a quick fly around with all the animals you've got. This is going to be an easy place to live, that's for sure. Um, back we go. Off in the distance, we see. Let's see here. What is this? Wow. Oh, snowman. Seriously? People. And he's trying to get in. What? Okay, can I? Alright. I, uh, I was trying, I was sort of debating what to do here about this snowman. Um, whether or not I should open the door for him or not. Uh, it, it's kind of strange to have a snowman out here. So I don't, oh, you know what? I, I'm not really sure that he'll actually go in with the door open or if he needs a, you know, a wider space. But okay. Is he going to go in? No? Are you going to go in? You, I could push you in, I suppose. Um, so we'll just let this particular drama play out without us, I think. Let's head out and check on everything else. Um, 
<laughs> the snowman. Okay, so, oh, talking about towers, here is this beautiful Tower of Endless. Endless. Stacked upon, stacked upon, stacked of jungle trees. That's cool. Um, and, uh, oh, wait, I want to show you guys my minaret. So we have Brickmaster's tower here. We have this beautiful tower here by our other admins. And, uh, bridge leading out over to the, uh, I'll show you in a moment, the, uh, well, it looks like. Yeah, we have a flag there. It's going to be a castle. Uh, and my minaret. So here, out of sandstone, is a minaret that is built to scale. That is a copy of a minaret in Tunisia. And uh, this particular minaret was built in 750, I believe. Um, and it... I'm going to finish up the, the, the rest of the mosque that, that is a part of the, the actual structure. Um, and I'll try to do that tomorrow morning with you guys, or I should say today. So this is a part of what is called the Great Mosque of Carowen. And Carowen, as I mentioned, is in Tunisia. Um, it is a significant uh, build because it is uh, the tallest minaret in uh, early. Let me just see here. In early architecture, in early minaret architecture, uh, it stands 31 meters tall. Um, but in fact, before 700, um, early mosques did not have minarets, and people would just, um, I guess, go about summoning people to prayer by apparently calling from their rooftops and that's uh i think that is a part of the story is that they would they would call from the rooftop of muhammad and um and his house doubled as a, a place where they would meet to pray um and it grew from there so uh so this place is almost well it's partially almost built it looks pretty good. Um, I could show you some videos of what it looks like in real life, but uh, it looks great at nighttime. You saw uh, an image of it earlier, which is kind of fun. Now, let's go on. Back here to Brickmasters. <laughs> to Brick. What are we going to call? Oh, right. We were talking about turning this into a. Into a. What we're gonna do with this place? Oh, it'll be beautiful. Um, I, I'm really tempted to copy it over. Once you're done, Brick, we can copy this over onto our castle server um, as a map. But we can also turn this into. Uh, we were talking about turning it into automated arena, which would be cool. Lots of detail here, um, and of course he's built this in Korea. So. Is there anything else I can show you here about what we've done on our first two days of camp together? I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. Badoom, badoom. Right. The wee house, which is wee inside, but it looks uh, much bigger outside. And oh, this is something, this is a little trick here that uh, is really great to practice, which is set out your palette know what blocks it is that you want to build with and limit yourself to those blocks. It will help with your design overall. Um, although on our castle server, if any of you are joining us next week, I will be showing you a little bit of world edit so that if you do uh, build something in a block that doesn't quite fit, there's a way to actually replace just that block. Um, so this, it looks like, was bricks palette including the gray glass there and like uh, historically we've done that for a lot of the builds that we've done that are are kind of important things like spawns on servers and whatnot so your your block and your color palette is what I would call this very important um, okay so to conclude oh look 
It's a cow. In my minaret. <laughs> um, today is uh, today is Thursday, and it's our second to last day. Um, we are going to be working on. Um, well, we'll be working here for just a little bit longer, and then what I'd like to do is introduce you to a new server, and that is our 112 server, which originally served us as our snapshot server, and we were reporting bugs back to Mojang while we were playing on it. So, I think that's it. Oh, look at that sunset. Beautiful, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, let's have another awesome day together um, at MC Kids Creekside Week 1. Bye!